Welcome to Lightspeed, my name is Juji. In this video I'm going to talk about how you can integrate your Xero account with the Lightspeed Accounting 2.0 module. We are going to look at how to activate Accounting 2.0 in your back office and how to link your account to Xero. Then we will check how to perform the account mapping, how will your data synchronize, we will take a look at the display of the Xero back office after a posting has been completed, and then how to disconnect your system. So let's get started. So how can you activate Accounting 2.0 in your back office and how do we link your account to Xero? Once you sign up for Accounting 2.0, we activate an additional accounting module in your back office, which you can access by clicking on Integration and Accounting. Now we need to enable this module ourselves and enter our credentials again and authorize Accounting 2.0 to link to our back office. Once this is done, we will see the available accounting integrations so all you need to do is select the one suitable for you, in this case zero. Now we just need to enter our zero credentials to approve this connection. It's very important that you enter the credentials for a user with full administrative rights in your accounting package. Once this is done, you can start mapping your account. Next, we will look at how do we do the account mapping. First, you can decide how often you want the synchronization to happen daily or weekly. Select your preferred frequency and you can also designate an email address for receiving notifications in the event that a sync error has occurred. You will only receive notification emails if your data has failed to sync. There are no emails sent to summarize successful syncs. The next step is to select your posting method. You have two options for this. Invoices by accounting groups or invoices by items. Lightspeed Accounting will send an invoice with your daily sales summary and respective payment types when you syncing by accounting groups, and item sales will be grouped by these accounting groups. When you syncing by items, Lightspeed Accounting will send an invoice with your daily sales summary and respective payment types, and item sales will be reported and mapped, mapped individually. Once you've selected a posting method, you can begin mapping your point of sale data to your account. Note that if you change the posting method, all mappings will be reset and you will have to reconfigure your mappings from scratch. Now you can proceed to map your product groups, payments, taxes, discounts and tips. By mapping your accounts, you will have full control over how your point of sale data is recorded in your accounting software. Please note, while Lightspeed support is happy to help you to set up the integration between Lightspeed Accounting and your accounting software, we are prohibited from providing accounting advice on how to map your accounts. If you're not sure how best to set up your accounts, consult a certified accountant. Depending on the accounting software you use, you may have some preliminary steps to complete before you can begin the mapping process. In this case, with Xero, before mapping, ensure that payments have been enabled in Xero. I will choose the Invoices by Accounting Group synchronization option. In this case, my sales will be grouped according to the accounting groups I have established in Lightspeed back office. You must designate a default sales account for all of your sales using the drop down menu. You can then click Map Individual Accounting Groups to map as many groups as you like to specific accounts. If no individual mapping exists for a given accounting group, sales for that group will be recorded under the default sales account. Sales are often mapped to an income or sales type account. Now we're going to map payments. Your payments can all be mapped to a single account or you can map according to your payment types. If you prefer to map credit card payments individually by card type rather than all together under a generic credit card payment type, use the drop-down menu and set split credit card payments by card type to yes. As with your sales, you must designate a default payment account for your payments. However, you can then click map individual payment types to designate a specific account for each payment type. Payments are often mapped to an asset or bank type account. Each of the tax rates you've set up in Lightspeed also must be mapped. So depending on what you have set up in Lightspeed back office, you will also need to link it to a text type in Xero. Now let's talk about the discounts. Lightspeed accounting gives you the option to track your discounts separately. 
If disabled, your sales will be recorded with the discount already factored in. The total for a given sale will be the total after discounts have been applied. If enabled, discounts will appear as a separate record and can be mapped independently from your sales data. If you choose to enable discounts, you must designate a default discount account. You may then click Map Individual Discounts to designate specific accounts for each discount. Use the toggle to enable or disable discount tracking. Now let's take a look at the tips. Tips will appear as a tax-exempt line item called Gratuity. Tips are often mapped to a liability account. Use the drop-down menu to select the account you'd like to map, this, map the tips to. Regardless of your choice of posting method, there are some additional settings to consider. You must designate a default customer in Lightspeed Accounting. This should be something generic, like anonymous customer, for example, or just Lightspeed, as this is the name that will appear in the customer field for any sale that does not specify a customer name. Customer transaction number is an optional setting that allows you to designate a four-digit prefix that will be added to your invoice numbers. This can help you keep your invoices in sequential order if you previously used a different accounting system. Now let's talk about the synchronization of your data. When you've configured everything to your liking, click Save Changes. Lightspeed Accounting will then sync your data to your accounting software according to the sync schedule you selected. We recommend checking how things look in your accounting software after your first sync to make sure everything has been recorded to your liking. You can make adjustments to your sync settings at any time. However, those adjustments will not be retroactive and changing the posting method will require you to configure every setting. You can see when the next sync is scheduled at the top of the configuration page. If the synchronization goes as expected, you will see a green check mark at the top of the page indicating that your data has been successfully synced in zero and the last date and time the sync took place. If the synchronization had an issue, you will receive an email and you will see a red check mark here. You can also check your sync history and resend your posting if and when necessary. If an error occurs, scroll down the configuration page and look for fields marked in red. These fields must be corrected. Once you've added the missing information, click Save Changes. You can check if the necessary changes solve the problem by clicking the next thing and viewing the information. So how about reposting and resyncing? If you made adjustments to the way your data is posted in your accounting software, or you've reconfigured your settings to correct a syncing error, you can repost or resync previous postings from the sync history page. Please note, before you can resend previously synchronized data, you must first delete the data in question from your accounting software. If you don't, you'll double send the data and mess up your accounting. Lightspeed Accounting will attempt to sync the mapping to a new configuration within the next 30 minutes. Again, this will not override the data already sent before this date. That information will have to be manually removed from your accounting software. So to resync a failed posting after you corrected the configuration, click the Sync History button, locate the failed sync, click on the failed sync to open the Sync Details page, and then click Resync. And to repost your data, delete the data in your accounting software for the date in question, click Sync History, click on the posting for the date you wish to repost, then click Repost. Now let's take a quick look at a posting that came through from Lightspeed to Zero. So I made a few transactions on my Lightspeed demo account, and now we can look at the Invoices module under Business and see that we had a posting from Lightspeed here. When we click on this, we can see how the mapping has been done based on my accounting groups and what payments have been recorded against them. And lastly, a quick look at our products and services, where we can also see our product groups listed as well from Lightspeed. Lastly, how can you disconnect your Zero account? In the event that you change your accounting software, you can disconnect the integration by navigating to the accounting section of the back office and clicking Disconnect. This will allow you to select a new accounting software and begin a new configuration. 
So this was our overview of the Lightspeed Accounting 2.0 and Zero's connection. If you have any questions, please get in touch with us. We are happy to help. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.